Bro, for one, let's get back to the gunner, bro. I don't feel like gunner snitch, bro. In any day, bro, I ain't no brain to teach you on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you can be over here trying to do so much thinking that you are perfectly fine and everybody else seeing you crashing out. Yeah. But a lot of people just don't say shit. They come on the line like, you feel me? Fighting your way out. You feel me? Like, punching them shit, bro. Like, Hey, well, Famous, y'all what up? Hey, <laughs> hey that boy Famous. One of the best podcasts ever, man. Y'all know what's going on. Hey, man, I fucking appreciate that, bro. Okay, okay. All right, y'all. So, thank you for coming to another episode of Chatted, man. Um, thank you for listening wherever you get your streaming platforms, wherever you get your podcasts at. And if you're looking at this on YouTube, I hope this shit looks great. We got another one in the fucking books, man. So, who we got here today? What's you know, up? Tuka, man. Tuka. One and only. Yeah. You know, a chosen one. For sure. The chosen one. The chosen we one. With it. Yeah, dude, for sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up, yeah. man. So what do you do, man? What what is what's like your your passion type shit? Becoming the one of the best barbers for real, for real. Like, I've been cutting hair for a long time. Uh -huh. so like be, me doing that, it's like my passion. You know what I'm saying? Really? Cutting hair? My own brand, you know, clothing brand. Yeah. So yeah. Oh for sure. You got some own yeah. trying to get your own clothing brand? I already got one in the making, corrupt the hearts. Corrupted hearts. Corrupted hearts. For so, yeah, for so, for so. Okay, hard. yeah, that's a hard name, man. Where that shit come from? The meaning behind it is pertaining to men, like we're men. Mm. So like, it is, it is like something like I'm about to show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah for I'm sure. To show you. I'm about to show you. For, for so, for so, for so, man. You got like a, a store, or anything along those lines, like an online or anything that somebody could order some shit from, man. I mean, you go to my page on Instagram. Okay. You What's know? that Instagram, by the way? Let's drop that. Corrupt, corrupt the hearts. CC. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So boom, I already got the hats. You know, I got the hats. Oh yeah. Baby. Oh yeah. Shirt's gonna, that shirt's gonna jump out this soon, you know. For sure. Man? Everybody been placing orders though, so I'm trying to get everything in order right now. Okay, y'all hear that right here, man. People placing orders, so y'all better get the fuck up, man. Yeah, y'all gotta get those, <laughs> get those. Exactly, exactly. So cutting hair, bro, where did that come from, man? Ah oh, man, like, my, my people's real. Like, my dad's a barber, well, he was. My uncle, they be cutting hair. Mm. My, uncle, my cousin and they got a barber shop in Farmville, so it's just in my blood for real, for real. They've just been cutting hair. Like, mm. I mean, I started taking it serious, to be honest with you. Really? I started taking it serious, you feel me? So, like. So, what is it about? Because I, honestly, I feel like when the barbershop used to be like a thing where you could come in, talk about some problems and shit like that, and yeah. it was just like a safe haven, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. for guys and feel me. What is it about the barbershop that really kind of drew you? Because, I mean, I know that's in your blood and shit like that, but you got to fall in love with it, you feel me? Yeah, like. It's like when you come, when you come, when you become a barber, right? Mm. Like you really get to know people for real. You mm. know what I'm saying? So people come sit in your chair, they tell you about their stories, their lifestyle. Yeah. Somebody having a bad day, yeah. you can really make that day better. Yeah. They come yeah. with a fresh, clean cut. You know what I'm saying? That's tell facts. you about like, yeah, man. Like that's why I love about being a barber, though. Yeah. I be cutting a lot of little kids' hair, so like when they be telling me, I be talking to them. You know what I'm saying? Like that just make me feel good. Like, you know, like right. they, you feel me? Like I yeah. love it, bro. It's just like it's heartwarming. You feel me? So like. See, a lot of people don't be talking about that shit. You feel yeah. me? Like how that how that makes them feel, you know? Right. Being able to make somebody else's day and shit like that, bro. Like I feel like that shit is kind of like leaving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of people, man. I go into a barbershop nowadays, bro. It be quiet as hell. Well, like yeah. the barbers be talking to each other, but like the niggas don't be talking. You feel yeah. me? Like damn, we gotta have some type of camaraderie. We gotta mm -hmm. have some type of unity. You feel me? I don't know. It just makes like a better vibe. Yeah. You feel me? For the for the whole scene. I mean, like, these barbershops now these days, I don't really be talking about nothing, though. Yeah. Like, they don't really be trying to, like, tell the youth, like, you know what I'm saying, put them on game, you know what I'm saying? They, yeah. They really just be, like you said, they just talk to each other, barbers talk to each other. They don't really talk to people, like. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't with no barbershop in years, bro. Like, For real? In years. Damn. Like, years. I don't, you feel me? Like, I don't need to go. <laughs> I don't need to go no more. Like, yeah. ain't, ain't nobody else touch my head forever. Yeah. I'm always touching my head, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's cool, though. Like, first of all, you saving mad bread. Yeah, Like, what money. the fuck? <laughs> Cut's now like $40, bro. Yeah, $40 man. $40 for a cut. Dang, 40 no is way. ridiculous, bro. $40 for a cut. I was over man, here. Gas. I'm not going to cap with you. Nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's gas. Like, no. <laughs> I was over here tripping about 30 bro. Like, and then I, yeah, and then I started seeing, like, 40 Because I'm from Fayetteville, right? Right. Over there, it's like, used to be $20, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then it went up to 25 I was like, all right, cool, you know what I'm saying? I support, I support niggas who, like, I got rapport with, that I got a, a relationship with, you feel me? So I'm like, yo, I've been coming to you, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to help you, you know, get up, whatever, whatever. 25 all right, for sure. Then I come over here, and niggas was talking 30 
I was like, damn, all right, for sure. Then I go to Charlotte, niggas talking 35, 40. I'm like, damn, that's what we doing? That's what we doing now. Can't pay that. Nah, bro. Can't pay that. Niggas just thinking we Atlanta. Like, yeah, we're like, can't pay that. Nah, bro. And the thing is, like, I understand, you know, that's how, that's how y'all get y'all bread. You yeah. feel me? That's how y'all eat. So I try to be real, real understanding about that yeah, shit. Yeah, support. You know yeah, support, mean? support. But it's like, bro, like, come on, man. There's a limit, yeah, they, man. They, they, I they can't tax it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they taxing though. Niggas it's taxing only, only trying to like overdo that to pay mm -hmm. people. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, man, just whatever. Like, sometimes if I know you, yeah, and I fold with you, yeah. Hey, look, just you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much you got? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, for yeah. Because sure. I know you got problems as well, so it's like I ain't really trying to dig into your pockets. Exactly. But like, yeah. And see, honestly, bro, that that it lets me know that you got a sense of morals. Yeah, it's something I love to do. Yeah. So like, I'm not really gonna really charge you. I'm gonna charge you though. Yeah. Man, but I ain't gonna really try to dig in your pockets like eight dollar cuts. Yeah. yeah. It's just something I love to do. Exactly. Like, I did the back to school cuts thing. Oh, for Free cuts for all the kids. We did supplies and all that. I love doing. It. I love giving back to my community. Yeah, that's my biggest thing to do. Yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. And see, that's what's up, man. We got to talk more about the community. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's something that's always going to stay there. Yeah. You feel me? And whenever we go on or whatever, whatever, like, that's something that is, we would have left a mark on. You mm -hmm. feel me? Whether you did or not. Right. You know, whether you tried to or not. And so whenever you take a little bit of responsibility and say, okay, cool, like, you know, let me help out so-and-so, you feel me? Or yeah. let me let me try to do my my due justice, due diligence, et cetera, et cetera, right. doing these, like, back-to-school cuts, you feel me? Like, that helps whenever you get older. Mm -hmm. How old is you, by the way? 22. 22? Yeah. See, look, man, I feel like, low-key, you are a lot more mature than, like, what you give off. Yeah. You know I be saying? chilling. Yeah. <laughs> I really be chilling, bro. I don't be into all the negativity. It's just great positive around me. That's facts. I got a strong aura. Like, my energy ball very strong. Like, when people, like, I meet new people, mm -hmm. they already gonna fold my vibe, bro. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, Tuka really chill. I'm in the cut, I'm laid back, I'm relaxed. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have no beef. I'm just like, good. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I love it, bro. Yeah. Like, what people wanna walk around, like, watch their back every time. Exactly. That's not good, bro. That's bad. Like you doing something that's real. That's what we doing. Exactly, bro. So God gonna punish you, bro. Exactly. So, so you wanna uh, God like okay. So you wanna okay do these type of bad things. You wanna yeah. okay. Yeah. You gonna be punished for that. Yeah. You gonna suffer while you're on this earth. Yeah. And in the afterlife, it's over for you. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly. I just be positive. Keep my head on my shoulders. On the afterlife, bro. Speak on that. What you mean? <sighs> afterlife, bro. It's a lot of people don't even know about. Mm. For real, for real. Like, what you want to know about it? Okay, like, what is your, what do you believe in when it comes to the afterlife? What do you personally believe in? I believe that there's like, it's like another place, you know what I'm saying? Like here, mm -hmm. it's like it's like this right here, mm -hmm. but it's like, it's different though, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, people be talking about, so you might reincarnate and stuff like that. Like, mm -hmm. I don't really think that. I don't, really, do you think that? Uh, as far as reincarnation, man, like, I can see how you take like memories and shit from like past lives yeah. you feel me i guess that's a form of reincarnation but i don't think that just like you pops up in another thing yeah you know after you die i don't think that but that's what they say like deja vu like mm. like that's why i be trying to put puzzles together but we will never know you know what Stacks. i'm saying like we will never know we just keep figuring out figuring out but we will never know the real truth Stacks. until that day comes yeah yeah so yeah. like Y'all better get right with that man upstairs. Cause oh, for sure. You gotta get right with him. Later, bro, I was Not just talking right to somebody, him. man. I said, yo, like, I can always tell when I was just doing something that I wasn't supposed to be doing because my karma fucks up. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's that feeling you know you did something wrong. Yeah. He was like, dang, bro. Yeah, exactly. Bro, I, like, I know what feeling, this bro. is. Like, bro, dang, me? bro. I know, <laughs> bro. Like, but. That's part of us, that's humans. We do yeah. stuff like that though. Yeah, and we learn exactly. from our states, you know what exactly. I'm saying? So. You got to, man, you got to, in order to be a better person. Yeah. You feel me? That I think that's a whole goal, at least my personal goal, like being the best person I can be. Mm -hmm. You feel me? To everybody that comes in contact with me, like right. there's always a reason why like this person is here with me. You feel mm -hmm. me? While I'm talking with this person, et cetera, et cetera. That's why I love doing this podcast shit. Yeah. I love what you're doing, bro. It's good. It's I'm good. Say that. We're gonna be like, they gonna wake up. They gonna wake up and see this. Oh yeah, for sure. They gonna wake up and see this. For sure, man. Like I was talking about before, you have to just do what you can. Right. You feel me? The world's gonna catch up eventually. Mm -hmm. 
you know, whether it be on a, on a broader scale or, or a smaller scale. But somebody, a lot of people, whoever, is going to pay attention. And that's the whole point of things, you feel me? Like, to just steer people into a better direction than what we have been. Because I ain't going to catch you, like, this shit been spiraling. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, I've been, I've been low-key kind of, like, sad about a lot of shit. Just because yeah. it's like, damn, where are we heading? Ain't no love no more. Ain't no communication no more. Ain't no love, man. Let's uh, not get on that. Nah. <laughs> you can't get on love, man. Hey. Bruh. Ain't no love out here no more, man. Bruh, I swear to God. I swear to God. That shit's sad, though. Yeah. And yeah, love is. is very dangerous, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's facts. Love is very dangerous, bro. I can't play with my feelings. <laughs> One thing I can't play about is my feelings, though. Yeah. Hey, you say you love me? Stay on that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll be there for you 100%. Yeah. You, feel me? you ain't got to worry about nothing else in life. Got you. Yeah. But when you start playing with my feelings, though, oh, uh, man. Exactly. You can't, you can't do that to me because that's all I got left in me, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's my feelings. Exactly. And hope. So it's like, I can't do that. And the thing is, though, a lot of people, like, they just be playing with shit like that, not really understanding how it's actually hurting people. Right. You feel me? Yeah. Because, like, you got to take yourself out of your own shoes mm -hmm. and think about somebody else. And that shit is dying real fast, bro. You yeah, feel me? Like, yeah. it, it's hard. It's harder for a lot of people. And I don't be understanding it just because I'm not that type of person mm -hmm. to where, like, I'm going to always think about you. You feel me? At least to where, like, I'm like, yo, is bro comfortable or is Shardy comfortable or, like, like, how am I affecting them with what I'm doing, with what I'm saying, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Me? I mean... It be certain situations though where you just gotta like overlook stuff for real. I say, all right, so say if I'm with this girl, right? Mm. We going together for a long ass time. I'm talking like, I'm talking about like five years max. Like, I'm talking okay. like, you okay. feel me? Like, yeah. we in it, you feel me? We, yeah. we locked you in for in. sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, we, we, like, we break up and we uh. ain't going nowhere. Come here, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Type yeah. shit. Yeah. But like, women love that shit too. Yeah, it's certain standards with shit though. Mm. Like, I know every female, like, I don't want to say it, I know they're going to feel you feel me? No females are going to feel that <laughs> shit. Like, nah. They're like, nah, Tuka. Nah, man. But yeah, but like, I can't get my heart up like that. Yeah. I can't yeah. get my heart up like that. And it's sad that we we going to, it's sad that we going there as a collective. Yeah. They don't know what men go through, bro. They don't it's know, facts. bro. They don't know, but it, it's, it's all about them all the time, they feelings and shit. Bro, they don't know what we go through. It's a lot of pressure. Bro, you feel, we, we get, in the, when we depressed, bro, like, we do this shit in silence, bro. It's facts. We probably play the, we be stressing on the video game the whole time. They think, they think we, we gonna be in game, like, going through a lot in our mind, you feel me? Yeah. They don't know, you feel me? We take it, we do it different, though. Females that cry, and they show that emotion. We don't show our emotion. Yeah. Because we it's very facts. massive. We can't do that. Everybody can think we weak. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah, and it's hard though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To be able to to tell somebody like, yo, like I really don't know how to show this shit. Yeah, you feel me? But like I'm going through some some fucked up shit right now. Me going on this game and sitting on here for a few hours, bro. Like this is how I'm. I'm That's how you cope to it. That's yeah. how you cope to it. Exactly, exactly. And it, like it's just communication needs to be done. Yeah, you feel me? It's on both sides, communication gotta be worked on and shit. Because like, how how is she gonna be able to to know for sure like what you going through, et cetera, et cetera, if you aren't communicating that? Right. And at the same time, like, how are you gonna know that she wants X, Y, Z if she can't communicate that either? Right. You feel me? Like, that, it's a balance, it's a balance. So yeah. we just gotta be more understanding of each other's side and being like, okay, cool. Like, this is your life as a person. You know what I'm saying? This is shit that y'all had to go through. So help me understand. Understanding is like the worst thing this world have. Nobody have no understanding, you know what I'm saying? It's facts. When it comes to a problem, nobody can understand like your problem, you know? Like, yeah. It's just be bad. This world corrupted. That's why I say corrupted hearts. Mm. Like, mm, that's okay. I get it. I get you it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's like we all corrupted, bro. Like, I feel like that's something that we can, for example, they say whenever there's like, you know, five, six, whatever stages of grief, right? Mm -hmm. You know, that first stage is acceptance, yeah. you know, acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. Like, I think we got to get to that acknowledgement of this is where we are as a unit. Yeah. You feel me? And then we can actually start working on things. But if we can't even accept that, yo, like, I'm not at the best that I can be right mm -hmm. now, then you're never going to get to a point where you can improve. Right. You feel me? You're always going to feel like everybody has to improve to be with you. Right. You feel me? Now that you also have to improve to be with somebody else. Mm -hmm. That's that's fucking key, man. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah. But you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. But what I can say is though, bro, like, it seems like you really grinding out here. I don't show the world what I got going on for. I show them what they want to see. Yeah. You see sure. me? But like in the cut, I got I'm digging right now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm digging for gold. When I touch that gold, it's like over. You feel me? Like most people, they like, they get a lot of money and they just be on some shit like 
Fuck them, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. not like that, bro. Yeah. I give back, bro. You feel me? I put people in positions where they can eat, you know what I'm saying? So now we come together to eat together. Yeah. Everybody else, they be caring for themselves, you know what I'm saying? That's just yeah. like, that's selfish. That's not good. That's not good. That shit come back around, man. Yeah. If you can't give back to somebody, bro, like, eventually, you're going to get to a point where you don't have anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And there's nobody, it's not going to be anybody there who's willing to help you out that hole that you don't put yourself in. Right. Because you haven't been able to build that rapport with people. You haven't been able to go in and, and show people that you care about them, that you love them, et cetera, et cetera. Like, mm-hmm. even people that you don't even really fucking know. Right. You know what I'm saying? Every deed that you do is something good that you put back into the universe. And that universe, same thing, is going to bring it back to you. Right. You feel me? I don't know. I'm a big when it comes to it's kind of like karma shit. But like, yeah. so you you big on spiritual things? Like, I am. Yeah. I am. I am. I am too though. But some things not overthinking. Sometimes like sometimes I be in my room, I just be thinking like a spiritual level type stuff. Yeah. They be scaring me, but I be like, but this is it's real. Like yeah. it's really real. Like people just be like, I just walk around living like everything cool, but not yeah. knowing on a spiritual on a spiritual realm, like it gets real, bro. Like, exactly. And it's, bro, like somebody, I'm not gonna say somebody, but like we lost that. Yeah. Because at, at one point we had that connection, you yeah. feel me? Where we knew at least we had an awareness. Because mm-hmm. nobody knows for sure what the fuck is going on. Yeah. You know? But you at least know, okay, there is something here. Mm-hmm. You know, you fully believe that there's something here, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. We don't have that shit no more, you mm-hmm. know? Where it's like the, the most that I honestly hear about on a consistent basis of like even the spiritual realm is, you know, God and angels and demons. You feel me? Yeah. But there's a lot more behind that shit. Yes, yeah, a lot more. You know? Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all sleep, man. Y'all sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're not woke. They're not woke. People yeah. say they woke. They don't be woke, bro. I was yeah. like, I could look to a person, but you're not woke, bro. Yeah. You're not woke. You say you woke because it sounds good. Exactly. But in reality, you're not woke. Exactly. Like, you still live your life regular as hell. You feel me? Like, yeah, exactly. You were talking about an aura, mm-hmm. or your aura. Yeah. Earlier. So explain aura to the people, man. What, what are we talking about? Okay, aura is basically like, it's basically considered like energy. You know what I'm saying? So like, what I mean about aura, like, it's like people tell me they like. Got you. I met, I met this girl, right? Let me go ahead and say this. No names. I met this girl, right? Uh-huh. She saw me, she was like, she looked at me at first and she just kept going, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And then something like hell, I was like, Fly, she about to come back, she about to spin back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, she about to spin back, you hear me? Yeah. So like, she turned back around, she was like, she was like, she just said, she was like, you blessed. I'm like, what do you mean? Really? Yeah, I was like, what do you mean? Like, my heart was thumping, bro. Yeah. Like, my shoe like, <laughs> I'm like, shit, what you mean? Like, I'm scared as fuck right now. I'm like, what you mean? She was like, you blessed. Mm-hmm. I can feel your energy, you got a good aura, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, so I'm like, damn. But I don't, I can't see it or I can't, my aura, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. everybody else be seeing it, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. even my mom be telling me though, like, you blessed. Like, cause it's crazy how I picked up Clippers out of nowhere and just started being nice with the Clippers. Mm-hmm. I ain't, nobody taught me, I ain't watch no YouTube or none of that, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And like everything, like I just, I'm nice with it. Yeah. Hooping too though, like I'm raw hooping too though. <laughs> you don't get it that though. Yeah, but yeah, 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 I be yeah. hooping though. But What's like, up? yeah, like, she was like, you blessed. Like you got good energy, you, got, you powerful. I'm like, word. Telling me this, so like, I started really like knowing myself. I started connecting with myself. Yeah. Like I don't hang with nobody, bro. Yeah. Like I sit in my room, I sit in my room. Or I just, I just look in the mirror and look at myself. Yeah. I just be talking to myself. Like, it's like, you, I can feel it like, I don't know, that should be weird though. That's on some, some Naruto type shit. Like, yeah. that, but that shit, it's, it's like, bro, like, if you don't know yourself, like, you can't get in tune with yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta get in tune with yourself to know yourself. Mm-hmm. Most people don't know how to do that though. That's facts. Like, but my facts. body is clean as hell. I don't drink or nothing. You know what I'm saying? For real. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't condone that type of stuff though. Yeah, exactly. People don't be understanding that, like, that alcohol and shit, bro. That's that's a whole, like, spirit. Yeah. You know I mean? That's going into you and everything yeah. along those lines. That, that shit really fucking your body up. <laughs> If we even bypass the whole spiritual uh, yeah. side of it, like that shit's just plainly fucking up your body. Yeah, <laughs> yeah all that shit, chemicals and shit, and all yeah. that shit. But that shit really bad on that. Alcohol is just like too much. Exactly, exactly. Too much. When people start tweaking off of a drug, bro, it's time to start reevaluating the drug. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just cut back from it, just chill. Exactly. Like, just relax. Some people don't want to help themselves, though. Okay? Uh-huh. Some people don't want to help themselves, though. Yeah. Nah, I'm good, I'm good. Like, you're not good, bro. <laughs> Like, you really burnt <laughs> out right now, bro. <laughs> like, come on, like, loosen up, tighten up, regroup, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like, you bigger than this, you better than this. Like, you let this take over you. Exactly. You control it, don't let it control you, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's what most people do, they let it control you. Hell yeah. You can't let it control you, man. And that's the thing, though. It takes sometimes a person, a, a close person, to tell the person, like, yo, 
you not good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see you. I see how you're struggling. Like, regroup. Like you said, regroup, yeah. bro. Yeah. Take a breather, bro. Because you can be over here trying to do so much thinking that you are perfectly fine and everybody else seeing you crashing out. Yeah. But a lot of people just don't say shit. You got to reevaluate the people that you got around you, the type of energy that you got around you and shit. Yeah. Because like-minded energy is going to be around each other. Mm -hmm. What you were talking about when you said people going around and just like looking at you saying like, yo, you blessed. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That positive aura. You go in and you picking up these clippers and you pretty nice with it off the jump. That lets you know that you are headed in the in the path of your life that you're supposed to be on. Right. I be telling people, I be like, yo, if you're trying to do something and it's just so fucking hard, you're not supposed to be doing it. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying that everything's just gonna be easy. Yeah, everything. It's not gonna be easy though. It's exactly. Like, you gonna have like like past was gonna be really hard, you know what I'm saying? For sure. But it shouldn't be with it. struggling every single fucking yeah, way. Yeah, every day you just leave it alone, bro. Leave it find alone. Find something man. else to do. Exactly. <laughs> just find something else to do. Exactly. It's not for you. Nah. You know what I'm saying? And everybody gotta find that thing that just like you flow into. You feel me? Yeah. That's why like with this this shit and like art and everything along those lines, like that's just something that I flowed into. Yeah. Where it's just like, okay, cool, like music was really where I started. Mm -hmm. It's just like, damn, like I really fuck with making music. I really fuck with listening to music. Content creating, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I yeah. love it. Creating I love shit. It. <laughs> love it. I swear to God, I man. Love it. But speaking of speaking of fucking content creation, right? You had a YouTube. Yeah. The fuck happened with the YouTube, right? Bro. <laughs> Look. <laughs> but when I was telling you like, so like I was posting like some content, right? We were doing like smoke sessions and hot boxes shit in the cars, right? Uh -huh. And shit was going up, we were going crazy a little bit. Okay. Then like YouTube, they just was some shit. Like they sent me like a couple warnings. I'm like, bro, it's nothing though. Like, you can search up anything on YouTube and they pull that shit up. Like, yeah. you search up a fat, uh, like, you can search up, like, okay, a bitch with a fat ass. Like, they'll show up a fat <laughs> bitch eating, like, cakes and shit, shaking her body. You feel me? You That's what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but yeah, they had gave me some warnings and they had took my shit off. Like, I'm like, man, you know what? Forget y'all, bro. Wow. We're gonna run this shit back. You feel me? You said what? We're gonna, like, we gonna run this shit back, though. So, we got a whole new YouTube channel. Mm. Trying to build on that one, you know? So, you was doing, like, hot box sessions and shit? Yeah, hot box, like, little vlogs and shit like that, you know mm. what I'm saying? A day in the life with Tuka, stuff like that. You know got you, got you. Really now, do you think that they was giving you these warnings because you were smoking? Probably so. Mm. Probably so, though. Mm. They had to be, though. But I ain't gonna lie, like, I be watching people YouTube videos, they be smoking in their cars, though. Yeah, that's facts. Like, that's I'm facts. like, what the fuck? That's facts. I know a couple, um, couple content creators, and their whole thing, their whole gimmick is just like smoking and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, smoking different weeds, etc. Yeah. Et so, like, people on their podcast, they be smoking, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, that's facts. Like, why y'all? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, bro. That shit was weird. They on a brother, man. <laughs> why they want to see me win? Yeah. We're going to run that back, though. You know? Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. We're going to run that back, though. So, you fucked with that whole um, aspect of, like, making these videos, putting them out, et cetera, et cetera, like, yeah. recording your life? Yeah, I love it. I mm -hmm. love it. People got to know who I am, for real. Like, yeah. That's what I put out there. You gotta know who I am. Yeah. And like, you gonna be like, damn, bro. He turned, bro. He chilling, bro. Like, damn, bro. Like, for real? Yeah. I be chilling, bro. I be yeah. turned. But. Thing is, though, man, a lot of people, we're in the day and age now where people wanna know you and who you are yeah. before they even wanna deal with anything that yeah. you're selling, that you you trying to like yeah. get to them, et cetera, et cetera. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that, it's one, it's a little scary just because you gotta offer people a little bit deeper insight into your life. Yeah. But two, it shows like a deeper connection with the people that end up calling you like, or you end up calling them your fans. Right. You feel me? That's that That's that bond. And especially when you talk about music, yeah. like that's how you create that bond and shit. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I fuck with that. Make people, people feel your music, you know what I'm saying? You said what? Maybe you got make people feel your music. Like I don't rap as like we need rappers out here. Like I'm melodic, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. like when you hear my shit, you're gonna feel that shit. That shit like some juice world, different level yeah. type shit. You feel me? Yeah. That yeah. shit be hard though. Like I don't rap like I shoot a nigga in his face and then his mama get mad at me. You feel me? I don't do that. You feel me? Like I keep it cordial, bro. Yeah. I yeah, make yeah. you feel that music. So we in my we in the car, you vibing, like yeah. you can be you can, my music my music is like some beats type. We on the way to like a trip or some shit. You vibing in the car, like damn, mm -hmm. that shit hard, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I don't rap hard. I'm not a hard rapper. Like, I'm a soft rapper, you feel me? I say I'm soft, but I'm a soft rapper, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. I keep yeah, it cordial. Man, there's a distinction, bro. Like, that's the thing. Like, people be over here trying to punk a nigga just because they yeah. singing and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we gotta, we really gotta get away from that. Yeah. Just because... All that violence, bro. Like, I don't... Bro, I don't, that's, that's... First of all, that's played out. Yeah, that shit, dog. <laughs> Second of all, we don't need to be encouraging the fucking violence, bro. Yeah. Like, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to listen to, you know what I'm saying? But, like, at a certain point in time, it's like, damn, like, the only thing that I'm hearing is about 
somebody shooting a nigga. Yeah. You feel me? Or a nigga hating on fighting over a female or some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That shit happens way too fucking often. That shit bad, bro. You feel And that's the thing, like, like I said, we got to get to this point where we're accepting everybody. And I think we are hitting that turning point. Yeah. Because a lot of niggas is tired of trap. Yeah. You feel me? They tired of that shit. Young boy about to die down for one. You think young boy about to die yeah. down? Young boy finna die down for one. <laughs> I had to say that. You know, I had to say that to the bro right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> by the way, by the way, so we got um, we got his friend over here off camera, man. And uh, apparently bro's a young boy fan. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with our young boy fans out there. I can't keep listening to Youngboy, man. You feel me? Yeah. He not good. He not good, bro. Youngboy not good, bro. See, not that's good. a hot take. That's a hot take. We're going to clip that shit. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It's not good, bro. Youngboy not good. Why do you say he's not good, though? Like, look, because look of the, the uh, message bro. that he pushing? Bro, I done seen somebody go from, like, this shit is so weird, bro. I was, I seen somebody going from one of the honor roll students in school uh -huh. to it locked up. For real? Like, that shit bad. You been listening to Bloom for like three years now, you locked up, you got a murder charge. You all that, you feel me? Damn, yeah. Like, bro, yeah. like, come on, bro. Like, that's bad, or Bro, crashed out. Yeah, yeah, he burnt out. Mm. You can't say crash, it's burnt out. <laughs> he burnt out. <laughs> he burnt out. They go locked up. Like, he just put that, like, I feel like young boy, he really demonic, bro. Mm. Like, to so, like, all that, that violence in the world, like, if he keep being, like, he gonna put it out there. You feel me? He gonna keep, like, putting that in people's ears so everybody's gonna be like, mm. they bumping that young boy. Mm -hmm. I'm finna go spin on nigga right now. Mm -hmm. then, yeah, yeah. That shit is non tolerant. I can't, I can't deal with that type of shit, bro. But see, that's the thing though. Like you know, you as as an artist, you know what you're putting out there. Yeah. You feel me? And I say, I was watching this TikTok, and it was it was kind of really like thinking too deep into something. But I kind of got the gist of what they were talking about. But they were saying that uh, a lot of these musicians and stuff like that, like they'll go in, smoke a little bit of weed, and that weed helps them like tap into like just a uh, different consciousness yeah. you feel me lets things flow a lot easier etc etc and a lot of the times like that we will help you just tap into truth mm -hmm. you feel me where shit just start flowing you start making those connections or at least this is the energy that you're trying to put out this is the energy that you're feeling right now yeah. you feel me and like if murder and drugs and violence is the only thing that you putting out like mm -hmm. that's the main thing that's in your heart yeah. at least in my opinion yeah. you feel me that's not good, bro. Yeah, because it's like, bro, like, how can you consistently put out music that is this certain type of way? This isn't the life that you live in, or this isn't the, the narrative that you're trying to push. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And I ain't got nothing against young boy. I'm going to say yeah. that right now. But, like, I ain't going to lie, though. Back then, young boy, it was hard, though. I ain't going to mm -hmm. lie. Like, when you start getting older and you start having beef with all these artists and all this extra stuff going on, I just, mm -hmm. like, bro, I cut back from him. Like, because he's gotcha. not about to take over me. I ain't going to lie. Gotcha. I was in Juice World before that, you know? Yeah. I yeah. vibe. I be vibing. Yeah. I don't want to get too crunk in life, you know what I'm saying? I want to yeah. vibe out, relax, keep it cordial. Keep it cordial. That's something that you've mentioned a lot. Bro. Yeah, keep it keep cordial. cordial. You got to keep it cordial. Yeah. Keep I fuck with that. All right, hold on. We're going to go ahead and put the lights on. It's getting fucking a little bit dark out here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you listen to um the new Drake song? Mm. You didn't? Mm -mm. How do you fuck with Drake? He hard though, like he slept on for real. Well, you think Drake is slept on right now? Yeah. That nigga the big one of the I, biggest artists in the world. I know though, but I feel like nobody I don't be hearing nobody on the on the road nothing playing Drake. Mm, you feel me? Like got you. I don't know why though. That's mm, I would say Drake had a reputation of being like a soft rapper. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So a lot of people is gonna be like, damn, like you and your feelings type shit if you put on Drake. I don't think that. But you know, you know how niggas it is. <laughs> I used to listen to Drake though, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Yeah. I just be like, take a shot for me. Yeah. That shit be hard though, like oh that shit though, but it was hard, like but I had to chill though, you feel me? I you had to back, yeah, I had to go back to my little Uzi face. You know? For real. Yeah, little Uzi. You a little Uzi fan. I told you I like like Lil Uzi, Juice World, mm -hmm. shit like that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like Detroit rappers. That shit hard. Just, just that melodic rap type shit. Yeah, that melodic shit. Uh, I fuck with it though. I fuck with it though. I don't like no hard rap. Really? Like, I don't like for real. Okay. I listen to it. Yeah. Like certain songs. Yeah. But if it's too much, like my my mind can't take it for real. Mm -hmm. My attention, I be like, no, nah, I can't do this, bro. Got you. Feel me? Nah, and I, I think nothing wrong with that, bro. Like that's the thing, though. Like like that shows you evolving as a person. Yeah. Because like, were you always like that? Yeah, always. See, like, I barely like on my phone right now. I don't got no NBA Young Boy albums. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no no 
I ain't gonna lie, Get Rizzo though. Who? Get Rizzo. I haven't heard of him. We got it, bro. Get Rizzo hard, bro. All right. Like, I listen sure. to him though. Like he want to. Hey, uh, yeah. He hard as hell. So, <laughs> but on your free time, like, yeah. Play some Get Rizzo, bro. All right. He from sure. North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real? Y'all be talking. You know what I'm saying? I be hitting. They be. You feel me? Like they hard. Yeah. yeah they yeah. hard. Bro, we yeah. gotta fucking start supporting people from North Carolina. Yeah. Like there's all these different rappers, all these different artists that are from these different states and cities, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. And like they they group together, you know what I'm saying? They as a collective. And that's something that I don't see a lot of like North Carolina artists do. Where it's just yeah. like one body one person make it, it's like, oh shit, you know, Burn made it, all right, cool, like the baby, J. Cole, mm-hmm. that's the most I know. Except for I think Tusi from here too. Yeah, Tusi, yeah. Yeah. But even then it's like, okay, cool, like that's it, you know, that's all we hear about. But like with Detroit, there's so many fucking Detroit rappers. <laughs> like it's fucking crazy. Detroit hard, but they do got a lot of rappers though. Yeah, bro. Yeah. But that's the thing, like they making a name for themselves and they also sticking up for each other too. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So if one Detroit rapper make it out, like, I see a lot of other Detroit rappers, like, bringing on somebody else. You mm-hmm. feel me? Being like, okay, cool. Like, here. Yeah, in like, Baltimore, too. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Shorty Shorty. Yeah. Shorty Shorty been going crazy. Bro, I fuck with Shorty Shorty, yeah. though. Yeah. I love that nigga song, bro. This shit is so hard, bro. Really? Bro, that nigga hard. Bro, I he never. He slept on, though. Yeah, he is, though. He is, You know though. what I'm saying? He is, though. I don't know why, though. Like, it's some chill shit. Yeah. Like, I've been listening to shit. I've been in the car on the way to go hoop. Mm-hmm. Playing that shorty shorty, I'll be going crazy. <laughs> Look, we gotta shout him out, man. I'm gonna yeah. put I'm gonna put him out on the screen right now, man. Yeah. But yeah, like it's these types of things where like we just going back to the whole community thing, we gotta just be a community and be like, yeah. all right, cool, like I see your shit hard, let me help you out. You see my shit hard, try help me out. You feel yeah. me? What if we can build it? What if we can, like get a community together and build this window? How you think that shit would play out though? What you mean? Like so like one day, right? Mm-hmm. We just go to like gas stations and shit. Mm-hmm. We just get everybody like, I just have a meeting. We get everybody to meet up, mm-hmm. and we just come up with a, a plan to try to get the community all the whole like where we at right now and get this whole thing like just to come as one mm-hmm. and work as one unit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. How you think that's gonna be like? How you think it's gonna be like? I, th- I think it's gonna be the best city, then. bro. We would literally fucking like move this whole generation. You, you know feel what me? Saying? We would move this whole wave, bro. Cause everybody around here our age. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Basically, so it's like yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Why not? Exactly. Like, everybody don't want to be like that, though. That's fact. I mean, people got to put in the work. Yeah. That's the whole thing. That's gonna be hard for sure. That's hard. That's harder than trying to get rich, for real. Exactly, bro. So it's like, and the thing is, though, the money's gonna come. Yeah. You feel me? You keep on putting shit out there, and like, you got a team, you got other people working with you too, bro. Like, the money's gonna come for everybody. Everybody gonna fucking eat. Yeah, we are gonna eat together. You know what I'm saying? And that's the whole thing. Like, that's something that I noticed with a lot of different like waves of music. You got a whole group of people who are coming in at one time, mm-hmm. and a lot of times it's because they all working together. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now, like. We looking at it like, oh shit, like who is these people coming out of the way? You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. But nah, like they was building shit, digging shit in the dirt. Everybody had a shovel. <laughs> like, you feel me? Yeah. People really individualistic right now. So we not really on that same wave anymore. Yeah. You know? That's why I think that's why we haven't really had a, a different wave of music yeah. like that anymore. Shit's been stagnating. So what type of music you like listening to? Ooh, I listen to a lot. I ain't gonna cap with you. I say dirt, a lot of melodic. What's good with you? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> we got a dot of pepper, two liter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> but Dirk, a lot of melodic rap. I fuck with J. Cole. Like, I fuck with a lot of conscious rap before I fuck with melodic rap. Yeah. So, um, Cole, Kendrick, uh, I got this. I ain't heard of Kendrick Lamar in a while, though. Really? Yeah, I ain't heard of Kendrick Lamar in a while, bro. But I like, it's because his newest album, Miles Morales and the Big Steppers, I think that's what it's called. Like, it wasn't really that big yeah. commercially. Yeah. Like, he ain't have a lot of, like, hits, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't really trying to make a lot of shit popping. So, it ain't really pop like that. It is what it is. Shit was good. Bro, had Kodak on it. Yeah, Kodak on it. Yeah, Kodak on it. Crazy. How you feel about Kodak, though? <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Kodak, Kodak, you burnt out. So, nah, 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 bro. Kodak go see it, he gonna be like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> he was like, nah, bro. Nah, nah like, he just. I don't know. I, I don't think. I don't think he watched. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like he got a lot of shit going on with his drug problems and stuff like that. You feel me? So yeah. it's just like it's hard. I think it's hard for him to really like step back into his wave of getting popping again. You feel me? Like Kodak gonna be cemented in history regardless. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially in Florida, like. Yeah. No flocking was one of the biggest songs ever. Hell yeah. But Hell yeah, bro. It was so simple. Yeah, exactly. It was so simple. It was just hard. Like everybody was like, you feel me? Exactly. That's everybody started jigging too. Yup. And see the thing is though, I think Kodak brought that simple, like simplicity. 
yeah. You feel me? Like Tunnel Vision. Mm-hmm. Tunnel Vision. Great ass song. I remember I was back in fucking school listening to this shit. I said, damn. Like, mm-hmm. See you in it. Yeah. All that work. <laughs> you feel me? This like, shit was harder. Nobody can take that shit away from Kodak. It's just like, I really, honestly, I feel kind of sad about where he at right now in his, in his music yeah. career. You feel me? I mean, he can, he can come back though. You can yeah, always so. shake back from stuff like that. Bad, you like you going through things, you always shake back though. Oh yeah, for sure. But certain people don't want to shake back though. They want to stay doing what they want to do. I'm exactly. just like, bro, like come on, bro. You exactly. better than that. Come on, bro. <laughs> you, you got the that. money, huh? yeah. But you ain't doing nothing, young. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so like, you better than that, bro. Yeah. I mean, people get complacent. That's the thing. Like, I think complacency is the is the killer of a lot of ambition. Yeah. You feel me? Because like you seeing something growing, and now you thinking that okay, cool. I mean, I got something coming, man. So fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm good with this. Nah, don't be good with that shit, bro. Mm-mm. You feel me? You can never settle for less. Nah, don't fucking settle. Look, the women scream from the fucking rooftops. Don't settle. Why the fuck is you settling? Right. Hey, you feel me? I ain't never. I ain't gonna cap with you. I ain't never hear from a woman who trying to get her bag and shit like that be like, yeah, I'm good with this. Mm-hmm. Which is crazy mm-hmm. because I see more niggas saying, yeah, I'm good with this than women. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, know, I, I have seen females that, that really settle for less, bro. For real? Yeah, bro. <laughs> that, that, yeah, like, nah, bro. That's not cool. You a female, bro. Yeah. Like, come on now. Yeah. I can spit that from a nigga, though, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. But a female, come on, man. So you, okay, so you expect women to, to always try to want better? Yeah, always, bro. Because mm. say, like, say a nigga like, okay, you got a female, right? Mm. I expect a female to have something going on that's really good, you feel me? Really? Yeah, I, I, expect, that, I expect that, you know what I'm saying? It'd be Why? hard for a nigga, though. Because females got that? more leeway. Mm. They got more, like, they got more, like, they can do more things, you know what I'm saying? I got you. I so, got like, you. but for us, man, like, it's really kind of hard. Mm-hmm. We grind harder than females, you know what I'm saying? So, like. I ain't going to cap with you. That's a hot take, but I do agree. You feel me? Like, I do agree on average, way on average. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there be some grinding ass females. <laughs> you know what I'm like, we ain't gonna take that shit from y'all at all. Yeah, you feel nah, me? y'all be getting to it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like on average, man, like just niggas really do have to fucking grind out here. Yeah, we out here selling weed and shit, bro. Like yeah. that shit be hard for us. Yeah. We get a job, man. Donald's, we get fired from a nine to five. <laughs> that shit get hard, bro. We get fired from McDonald's, we eat it every day. We already know the menu. It's how the fuck we don't know how to cook it. You exactly, like, exactly. That should be crazy, bro. That shit hilarious, bro. Say we got five from a nine to five. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> That shit be pitiful, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, bro, that nine to five shit is played out, man. Yeah, I can't do that. You feel me? Yeah, I can't do that. Like, and the thing is, like, I'm working one right now, but like, I got all this other shit that I'm doing. Yeah. You feel me? Because it's like, okay, cool. I just need funding for what the shit I'm doing. Yeah, right. You feel me? Until I can go ahead and just like do this. It's like investment money. You know yeah, what I'm it's saying? investment money. You feel it's, me? It's, it's cordial. Like, you're keeping it cordial. Like, you, you really don't need it, but you can invest into your business when you're trying to grow. Exactly. You know what I'm so, like, I ain't working on nine to five, though. <laughs> I just cut hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just yeah. cut hair, bro. Like, yeah. The thing is, though, okay, I'm assuming you have worked a nine to five before. Yeah, bro, I don't wear everywhere out here, bro. <laughs> I don't wear that Jack's music, you feel me? Yeah, I don't wear yeah, that yeah. McDonald's, everywhere, you feel me? Yeah. But I just felt like that was not for me, you know what I'm mm. saying? I always get fired, I'm be honest with you. Really? Hell. What the fuck yeah. you getting fired for, bro? bro? I don't know, man. I don't know how I get fired, bro. <laughs> it's like, I be late. Yeah. I be hate smelling grease all day, bro. Uh, she be fucking on your brains for real. You smell that grease and like. Really? I've never been a cook before. Bro, you never been a cook, bro? Nah. Bro, nah. don't, 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 don't. The only nine to five that I've worked is retail. Retail? Yeah. I've never Damn. done fast food. Yeah, bro. I was all. I never did retail. Damn. <laughs> See? Different sides, bro. Damn. Yeah. I did factory jobs, though. Really? Yeah. Now, I got a boy. I got a homeboy, man. And he doing a factory job right now. He working at a chicken plant. Yeah. Bro, you can tell you a story about my chicken plant. Bro. All right. For... All right. So, look, bro. <laughs> I was working at this, this chicken plant, right? Uh-huh. So boom, like I was doing live hang, bro. I was actually hanging live chickens, you feel me? What? Like they yeah, alive? Man, no motherfuckers are big as hell, like chickens, bro. What? Like them chickens big, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, I never hung no chicken for ever in my life, bro. I'm from the city, bro. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. So, that, all right, they, bro, that shit was just like, you hanging like real chicken. That's so sad, though. Like, them just be in there yelling, like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you saying, help, help, help. Like, they be biting on you, shitting on you, pissing on what? you. What? Yeah, but I never got bit by a chicken before, bro. It was my first time getting bit by chickens and shit. <laughs> I didn't know they bit, bro. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't know they got TV, you feel that shit. Fucking chicken bite me. Them niggas fucking scared, I'm in that bit thumping ass, don't bite me again, you feel me? I'm in there throwing chicken legs around and shit. That shit was real, bro. Like, that shit was a real slaughterhouse. Like, God I'm in there pulling their heads apart. What? Yeah, bro, I couldn't do it no more, I quit. I eat this shit. I ain't eat chicken for like two months. Like, <laughs> no. 
Every time I pick a chick, I smell it like. Yeah. It smells so bad, bro. Like, damn. They, like, they come with like a truck, right? Uh huh. It'd be like, I said like 2,000 chickens. Like, what? on crates. Like, they'll come on the line. You see the motherfuckers coming on the line, they be like moving. They be big as hell. Like, mm. like big ass shit. They be stanking. Mm. So you gotta hang them. When you hang on them, like, that's how you hang on them. You pick them up, like, ha, ha. <laughs> them motherfuckers biting the shit out you, bro. <laughs> like, like, they biting you. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> shit, no, that shit sounds traumatic, bro. But that shit just like, what the fuck? It's bad, bro. And see, that'll fuck with a person's mom, bro. It took me out my comfort zone to do that for real, for real. Really? Yeah. I imagine. I Cause like, who in they right sane mom, bro, is happy to go to a fucking chicken plant and hang up these chickens that are thrashing to not get killed, and you hanging them up on some hooks bro, and shit, and you cool. He was this man that was working there, like he was in there happy as hell. Like, I'm mind serious? you, they shit in there real on you, feel me? Yeah. This man got a tank top on. Yo. Tank top, bro. Nah. Like shorts, bro. Nah. Regular hooping shorts, bro. What? With Crocs, bro. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Where you supposed to be prepared? You supposed to wear, bro, bro, what the hell? I had ski masks on. Yeah. I had all that, all that, all that. This man came in there with a tank top, bro. And see, that's how you find out who the psychopath is. Man, crazy. You know what I'm saying? She like, flakes all in his head and all that. Hell no, nah, but he bro. happy, he grinning. Yeah, yeah. You know I what I'm saying? That. That's that's weird, bro. He love that Jeffrey Dahmer shit. He you said it. what? He that Jeffrey Dahmer shit. Yeah, yeah, that, exactly, know? exactly. And that's the shit, bro. Like, it's those types of jobs. Like, they pay a lot. Yeah. You feel me? But they pay a lot because you got to go through a lot of shit. Yeah. Yeah. I can't fuck with that, man. Yeah, I can live, bro. It, it, it won't for me. Yeah. It was not for me, though. And see, I'm glad you told me that because yeah. I, at a point in time, I was really thinking about doing a chicken plant. My, uh, Boy, my cousin, yeah, my cousin was doing that shit. She quit. I was like, I ain't never asked her about it, you feel me? Mm -hmm. But she was just like, yeah, I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Damn, all right. But like, it's like different departments, though. So say if you want to, like, say if you want, I was doing live hand. Mm -hmm. yeah. I work, I work the chicken. I work like three chicken plants for real. Mm. Like they got different departments where you just doing like packing, which is like like inside like inside the building. You feel me? Like mm. like you feel me? Like in the departments. Yeah. You get the chicken already be dead and shit like this. Come like with like the chicken legs and shit like they just packing it or stuff like that. They got shit like that. Mm. But like you still be uncomfortable though. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I could fucking imagine, bro. That shit just be uncomfortable, bro. Like what the hell? And see, that's the thing, bro. Like I ain't trying to really like be ripping apart fucking animals and, and <laughs> <laughs> like for real though. Fucking and legs and wings and heads and shit. You know what I'm saying? Bro, like, they're damn. fucking hearts, bro. Yeah. Have you ever seen a chicken heart before? I've never seen a chicken heart. But they heart is like this big, bro. Seriously? But look at that heart. <laughs> That shit beating fast as hell. Like, <laughs> that shit still be beating, scared. bro. That shit scary as fuck. Bro. Yeah, bro. And see, that's the thing, though. You over here talking about how big they is, but they heart that small. Yeah. You feel me? That lets me know, like, yo, they pumping some shit in that chicken. Yeah, you they know? pumping. Them motherfuckers be having muscles, bro. <laughs> <laughs> them motherfuckers must be cock diesel, bro. Be <laughs> they come on the line like... You feel me? Fighting your ass. You feel me? Like, punching them shit, bro. Like, that shit be get real. You fighting with the fucking yeah, shit. Yeah, like, they be, bro, that shit real, though. Hell nah, man. I can't fuck with that, bro. Yeah, bro. You can be out there, bro. You can be like, damn, bro. <laughs> Took a Toby. <laughs> Took a Toby don't go there, bro. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Hell nah, man. Like, and the thing is, you know, they'll do documentaries about everything nowadays. Yeah. You feel me? So, I'm sure they got a fucking chicken plant documentary out there somewhere. See, I looked on, I looked on YouTube and all that. They, they won't, they won't do that though. Really? They wanna do that though. Wow. They'll show you like they'll show you like they come down the line, they come out you they got they in the crate, they come down the line, they in the crate type shit. And they just like it's all they don't see them hanging them or cutting heads or none of that. They don't wow. show you that. Like wow. they don't show you that shit bro. That's the crazy thing. Yeah. So they they either censoring it on purpose yeah. or they censoring it because it's gotta be on a media platform. Yeah. But regardless, like you ain't saying the full you ain't showing the full picture. Yeah. In person though, bro. When they told me like, you know your parents said like you run around with like a chicken with head head off, you feel me? Yeah. Shit real. Man, I pulled the chicken head off, bro. I ain't never seen that shit running. But that shit was running, bro. What? Man, that's, ah, that's some damn. weird shit. I don't know how they're even like capable of that doing that, you feel me? Mm. I thought like you kill anything or take the head off anything, like just the dead. body just shuts it down. Yeah. See the neurons though, bro, like I'm a fucking geek, I'm sorry, but like yeah. the neurons in your body, like they still firing. Mm -hmm. So like even though the head is like cut off and shit, like you still got all this electricity in your body. All that still, like, moving. Shit, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the crazy thing. Like that honestly let me know how much like we're electrical beings, which goes back into the aura shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because like all this electricity in you mm -hmm. is obviously radiating out of you. You right. know what I'm saying? And so your brain is just controlling this shit. Mm -hmm. But like like you said, whenever you cut that head off, all that shit's still firing. Yeah. You feel me? Until it just slows down because they ain't got nothing to power it no more. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Crazy shit. Yeah, that's 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 real. That's real. That's real. 
God damn, real, man. Bro. Like I said, bro, that shit sounds traumatic, bro. I couldn't even fucking yeah. do it back. That's why I stay in fucking retail, hanging out fucking yeah. clothes. Retail, <laughs> yeah. Work from home, Josh. That's where I'm at. You feel me? Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bro, I really want to get a work from home, man. It's shit easy to apply, though. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I would think so, but like, so they do like the customer service shit, right? Yeah. Where you get like the headset and everything yeah. on those lines. Bro, like, they always tell me, yeah, your laptop isn't isn't compatible because I got a Mac and shit. So they say, like, you know, you need the Windows and shit like that. I'm like, yeah, you yeah. You say they with a, with a Mac? Yeah, no, for real. They say, like, they don't fuck with Macs. Like, they only want Windows. I was like, wow, that's crazy. Then my boy, he went and did it one time. That boy quit after two days, bro. But it's some, it's some like, some like jobs, like, they, they apply you, they'll provide you with like, the equipment, though. Mm. But you got to go get it though. Got you, got you, got you. I mean, it's fucking worth it. Yeah, we're gonna talk, you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna talk after it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, yeah. <laughs> man, but yeah, bro, bro, quit after two days, man. He said, yeah, man. Them niggas was like yelling in my ear and shit. Yo, they were yelling at Yeah. I was like, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, man, like. Nah, like, but you gotta have like, like a good like. You gotta have your standards with that though. You gotta mm. really be chill though. Mm. You had them people that be coming kind of angry as hell by they mess. Like it's yeah. certain jobs like they got. Come on, since she work for um, one, it's like like insurance, Medicaid, and shit like that, all that shit though. So yeah. like, you be having people out there mad as hell, they ain't getting any medicine and like that. Shit, <laughs> you feel me? They mad as hell. They were like, hey. Like, fussing at my sister. I was in my sister's crew the other day, bro. Mm. And like they was just fussing at my sister about that shit though. For real? Yeah, like calling her all these names and shit. What? All right, don't let me jump through this computer. I'm like. <laughs> digital form on your ass, bro. Like... <laughs> Dude, that's how, yeah. But see, that's the thing, though. And for everybody listening, everybody watching, bro, like, you got to be able to take yourself out of the situation and be mm -hmm. understand the fact that, like, the person that you're talking to is not the cause of your problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You over here talking to this person all crazy and shit like that. Like, that's not doing anything for you at the end of the day. You know not. what I'm saying? You got to you gotta be okay. You got to be calm mm -hmm. about the shit. People be when doing way too much. Like, mm -hmm. I don't be understanding this shit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, you can't. You just got to really, really just be humble sometimes in certain situations like that, though. Yeah, yeah, You got to yeah. humble yourself, though. Yeah, facts. Big like, facts. You got to humble yourself. I used to have a bad attitude, bro. Really? Like, real bad. Bro, when I was young, bro, like, in school, bro, mm. like, I was in school, right? Mm. I already know I would have a bad day. I woke up I woke up in the morning, my mama fussed me ass out. Uh, she gonna slap me in the back of my head, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Cause yeah. Because I wasn't getting up for school. <laughs> so I'm always having a bad day right there. Yeah. So boom, I'm going to school. I'm not even trying to talk to nobody, bro. I'm just like, nah, bro. So then, like, I get in science class, whatever like that. Teacher, she already on me, bro. Mm. She already, she see it on my face that, oh, yeah, I'm not in the mood. So she really just antagonized me at this point. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. She calling me out and all this. I'm like, bro, I'm not even trying to, like, I was like, can I just go, like, sit in ISS or something like that? I, just, I don't want to be around this environment right now. Like, I'm not feeling it right. I'm, un I'm, like, I'm, I'm under the weather. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Under the weather. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, under the weather. So, man. like, I get to an argument with one of the students in my class, whatever like that. So mm -hmm. I'm like, bro, like, this is not in the right day to fuck with me, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm literally. chilling, but I'm just trying to like be alone right now, though. Yeah. So like, she, the teacher got on my ass right there. And in the end of the day, bro, I ain't no breaking the teacher on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, bro, like, cause we look though, a lot of steps. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I like, bro, cause like, we, me and bro, fussing, right? We in class, like, we fussing and shit. Uh -huh. And they already know I got to quit telling me, so they're like, okay, Mr. Williams, we gonna have to go. You feel me? Like, so they, they call the resource officer, all that shit on me, bro. Uh -huh. uh, it ain't, it's not even call for that. Cause I really be chilling though. Like, I be like, what's not call for that? I got, I'm real calm with things in certain situations like that. I be real so calm, like, yeah, not, yeah, feel me? yeah. But that's besides the point though. So she like, so she had grabbed me when she grabbed me, bro. Like, she grabs you? Yeah, she grabbed me. Like, she grabbed me like. Uh -huh. Hard as fuck. Uh, so yeah. I just turn around, that like her shit snap, bro. You feel me? Damn. I ain't mean to, but broke her arm. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Like, her <laughs> wrist was fucked up. Like that bone was out. Like, Damn. I like, twist her shit. Cause like she grabbed me. I was like, like there's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They expel you for that? Nah. Oh shit. I got my ass whooped on my own. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you broke the fucking. Yeah. Or I got I got suspended for like four days. Oh, some smooth shit. You got suspended four days for yeah. breaking this teacher's wrist. Yeah, cause they ran the cameras back. They seen her grab me. You feel me? Oh. Okay, okay, like, okay. It was like a roughly grab, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she really trying to jack my ass up. Yeah, and I she just, wasn't supposed to be doing that nah, shit. Yeah, teachers? Teacher. Okay, look, I appreciate teachers, don't get me wrong. Yeah, y'all doing y'all job. For sure. But at the same time, like, there's got to be limits, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just be doing and wilding and shit because at the end of the day, this is not your child. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to have a limit to your temper as well. Like, if you're the teacher, you are the, the kind of role model for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you got to show this kid, like, how to actually appropriately react and communicate. In a mm -hmm. high intense situation. Yeah. If you showing that you just grabbing some nigga <sighs> by the fucking throat, by the shoulder, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and guess what she was diagnosed with, though? Bipolar? ADHD, bro. 
Ooh. And I got anger issues, so that shit was not combined. Was, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it won't mess with Damn, that's crazy. You should never grab me. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. You should never have grabbed you. You shouldn't have broke a wrist. Hey, but, look, no, like, I'm yeah. saying, though. Yeah, yeah, you right, though. You right, though. Yeah, I yeah. apologize to her and everything, though. You feel yeah, me? So, yeah, like, yeah, for sure. They, she wasn't trying to press charges or nothing, though. She, she can't, she understand me and I understand where she come from. You know what I'm saying? See, that's what's up, man. You know what At saying? least y'all get into a resolution yeah. where you ain't got to be put in the system for no shit. She passed me, too. <laughs> I was in the loop, man. I was in the loop, you hear me? Uh, damn, that's what's up. He said she passed me. Yeah, I know why she passed me. <laughs> fucking love it, fucking love it. All right, so we back, we back, we back. Take a little break and shit, you feel me? Nothing crazy. Yeah, nothing crazy. <laughs> Keep it cordial. Keep it cordial, bro. That's going to be the fucking theme, man. Keep it cordial. Keep it cordial. Where you get that shit from, bro? It's just something I just start saying. For real? Like, keeping it cordial. Uh. It's always good to keep things cordial, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Like, you can't stress about nothing. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with that. Yeah, because any, any situation you get put into, mm. you got to keep it cordial. Mm. Keep it light, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You can get through anything, you know what I'm saying? Try the tribulations, basically. You know? Facts. Just keep pushing, man. You just got to keep pushing. I was, talking, I was just talking to your cousin about that shit, man. Where, you know, he was talking about, you know, him doing computer science and stuff like that. Yeah. And I was telling him, like, you know, shit might get hard, bro. He was like, you know, you just got to keep going. Yeah, got to keep give up. up. I'll be mean? pushing him. I'll be mean pushing him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pushing for greatness. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's been through some, you feel me? Been through yeah. some shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? With me, I'm always there to help. Yeah. Because if you're going through anything, cause I got you, you feel me? Yeah. I'm going to get this together. I'm going to make sure you do. Yeah. You feel me? This is, I, I love that, bro. I love like That's how you're supposed to be, bro. Yeah. We need support. Yeah. Everybody. And not just, you know, not just black people, but especially black people. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you yeah, feel yeah. me? Real, like, we need to support each other. And so to be able to have somebody be like, yo, like, keep going. Like, I'm here for you. I see you. I see you grinding. Like, yeah. keep doing that shit. Mm -hmm. Bro, that shit means a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people don't have that shit. Yeah. Uh, we, don't, we don't have that much support around here, though. Exactly. I exactly. work in a job, right? Yeah. Recently. Yeah. So like I'm the only black dude in there. You know? Really? It's it's like hella Caucasians, bro. Mm -hmm. Hella Caucasians. I'm the only black dude with dreads. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. I can't even work presentable. You know what I'm saying? I'm wearing yeah. slacks. You feel know? me? Yeah. I ain't, I'm not sagging. I pulled out the slacks. I pulled out the slacks. <laughs> you feel know? me? Yeah. I pulled out slacks, belt. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm not sagging. You feel know? me? Mm -hmm. I'm looking nice. You know what I'm saying? For sure. But like I could tell like it was some type of like some shit going on at the job. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. like. I had confronted her. And it was a, it was a female though. Mm -hmm. I wanted space for a female. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like I confronted her. Like you okay with it? Like like you got any problems with me? I don't think I'm harm. I'm not gonna harm nobody. You know what yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not here to harm nobody. Yeah. I don't condone no violence. You know what for saying? sure. So like if you feel any type of way or you feel uncomfortable around me, let me know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you, So I can make you feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I was, like my phone was going off. So like I put my phone down the she trying to say I wasn't working, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm like, so I told him like, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? Yeah. Like, yeah. like something so what happened, what happened this morning recently? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you woke up on the wrong side of the bed, like what you yeah, angry yeah. about? Yeah. The man did something to you. Yeah. <laughs> just talk to him, you know what I'm saying? Just talk, just talk to him. So yeah. She's like, no, she she told my son, get out, go home. I'm like, what? what? It's like I'm like, what's going what I do? Uh -huh. not working anyways. I'm like, what do you mean? Wow. For one, I'm busting my ass in here, bro. Yeah. Man. For two, like, why are you coming off on me like that? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. I'm trying to be, I'm, I'm keeping it cordial with you. I'm not trying to harm you. Then, like, bro, she pointed at me, like, get out, get out, get out. What? In like, front of all the customers, bro. Wow. First of all, that's embarrassing. Yeah. Second yeah. of all, it's like, why are you causing a scene? You feel me? Yeah. So, I don't feel like there's some racial profiling type shit. You feel me? For sure. Like, you can't do that to me, bro. You can't do me like that. Exactly. We're supposed to be behind that type of stuff, bro. Exactly. You got behind it. Like, like your answers, what they tell you? What they talk to you about? What, what they, yep. what your parents told you? Don't go around that guy. If anybody would dress, stay away from him. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like, yeah. you don't, you're supposed to be like that, though. That's called hate. You know what I'm mean? saying? Exactly. Hatred. Like, exactly. I don't like nobody to hate. Like, and you know, when people got hate in their heart, when you got hate in your heart, bro, mm -hmm. like, you end up, like, attracting that negativity. That shit ends up, like, killing people. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You end up being sick. Like, bro, like, just be positive. Right. We spreading love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, why are we over here and trying to, like, profile somebody because of the way that they, like, their hairstyle yeah. or anything along those lines? Yeah. Like, bro, like, come on, man. It's it's 2023. Last right. time I checked. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is not 1918, 49. Exactly. Like, we not exactly. in no fields when we got scraped concrete out here. Exactly. You feel me? Like so why? It just it just weird like that though. Yeah. But I feel like we're gonna always have that. You feel me? Sometimes that's in a person's like family dynamic. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Where it's like yo, they they training this shit. They but see teach most this people. Shit. They don't even come from that though. They just like think it's the right way. You feel me? Mm. 
they think that's the right way. Mm. Like, I be like, bro, like, in my, in my, me knowing, I know you didn't come from that. Mm. I know you didn't come from, like, hating black folks. You, know? yeah. you just want to be there. You just want to, like, make that, like, your mindset, like, okay, I don't want to be around nobody black. Cause they think, like, they think we, cause, bro, we, like, it's another spiritual thing for you, you feel me? Yeah. They yeah, really yeah. like, cause we, like, bro, we were born as the chosen ones, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, for one, I feel like white people really fake aliens to me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you think white people fake aliens? Yeah, they aliens. I feel like they're aliens, bro. <laughs> like, come on, bro. You see they veins and shit? Like, what? <laughs> like, they got no skin tone. We do, you feel me? Like, uh -huh. I just feel like it's a lot, like. It's a lot behind it. Yeah, it's a lot behind it. Yeah, 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 for sure. See, right. honestly, man, and if white people are fake aliens, bro, <laughs> <laughs> if they are, bro, that's some crazy shit, man, because it was underneath our noses the whole time. Yeah. But, like, regardless, bro, like, regardless at the end of the day, man, Man, whether they aliens or not, we gotta have some type of unity. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We gotta yeah. have some type of like togetherness where it's like, okay, cool. Like you understand that this is who I am, and I understand that this mm -hmm. is who you are. You feel me? And we can just respect each other amicably. Right. You feel me? I'm not trying to have no smoke with you. Right. At right. the end of the day, hey, you we're keeping it cordial. We're keeping it cordial. We're keeping you it cordial. To. Exactly. So. Um, we just gotta really kind of kill that narrative, you know, mm -hmm. as we're growing up, as we're going through things and yeah. shit like that. You know, gotta teach that shit to our kids, cause that's where, that's how you keep that shit going. Yeah. You know, yeah. you teach little Timmy, hey, bro, like, you know, fuck these black, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then little Timmy, Tim that's not right, little Timmy. Exa <laughs> exactly. That's not right, little Timmy, cause exactly. in your classroom, you gonna have one of them in there. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you gotta know how to work with somebody. You gotta know how to accept somebody. Mm -hmm. You just raising fucking menaces, you yeah. know. And there's two different types. I mean, not two, but there are different types of menaces. Mm -hmm. You ain't gotta pick up a gun and kill somebody to be a menace. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. To society, you just have to be a person who is not trying to help the society progress in a better and positive way. Right. You feel me? Yeah. So racist, racist people are menaces just as much as the next. Robber, killer, thief, etc., mm -hmm. etc. Et you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you're still doing the same shit to keep us from progressing. Right. You feel me? Yeah. That's how I personally feel with this. If anybody got something to say with it, man, I'm sorry. I apologize. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? You can't be mad at the truth. Yeah, you can't be mad at the truth. You can't be mad at the truth. A lot of people, man, are mad at that shit. You know? Yeah. But you can't be honest with people. Yeah. Like, it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> Regardless, regardless, regardless. We were talking about off camera about how you um, are a party promoter. Mm -hmm. What's the life of that? Hey, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> it gets stressful, though, you know what I'm saying? Really? Like, yeah, it gets stressful. I mean, like, sometimes, like, it be some good times, like, good days. Like, when you about to throw, throw an event and just be on some chill shit, so you feel me? Mm -hmm. Then you got, like, for one, you got your Instagram, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you posting your content on, like, promoting your stuff on, like, that's gonna blow up. Mm -hmm. You got people, like, you gotta worry about things that's gonna happen at the party. Yeah, that's people facts. Bringing guns and shit. Like, people bro, love just, bringing guns nowadays, man. I was just like last week, well, weekend. I was telling you, right? Mm -hmm. We can just pass. Matter of fact, Friday and Saturday, mm -hmm. we had a party, right? Mm -hmm. Surrounded by so many people with guns, bro. I had to get really? out of that facility. I had to go. Yeah. This is love, bro. Like, I don't want to be around there, you feel me? Yeah, for sure. For Niggas sure. say they know how to do gun safety, bro. Come on. Come on now, man. For one, you're not legal. Exactly. You're not legal, bro. So I'm going to go ahead and evacuate myself. Yeah. And my cousin from that, you feel me? Because we don't need to be around that. Yeah. yeah. If something happens, then you feel me? That's over there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We good, like. Yeah. So, like, that shit be stressful sometimes, bro. I'm not gonna cat with you, bro. I can't stress enough how much or how little I see of that mentality here. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. Where it's like, yo, like I see all these guns and shit, and it doesn't excite me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because a lot of people they'll see a gun, they'll see a Draco or whatever, whatever, and they'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's what we own. Like, yeah. And, and, and I don't know. It kind of worries me a little bit when that's your mentality, because it yeah. lets me know like you willing to crash out yeah. for some stupid shit. You gotta give your life up to something that's like really not even that. You know? Exactly. Like, Exactly. There's a difference between protecting That's what you call simple-minded people. Facts. Yeah. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And somebody got to... I don't know, like, it takes somebody close to you to be able to pull you out of a mentality like that, show you a different way. You feel me? Yeah. And I ain't going to be that person right. when, we in the, when we in the moment, in the situation. Because yeah. I ain't going to tell nobody, hey, bro, like, you know, you kind of bugging out. You feel me? Yeah. I'm just move. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I can't say nothing. <laughs> you might twig out on me. You feel me? Like, I ain't trying to... Hey, no, you got it, bro. Like, you got a firearm. You feel me? Like, I'm about to go ahead and move from that. You got it, bro. You yeah. hard. You yeah, hard. yeah, yeah. You hard, bro. You, you hard. got it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't even need it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and so that's the crazy thing, bro, because especially, like, in North Carolina, it's so easy to get a gun. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like, I got my concealed carry and everything along those lines. Yeah. Um, 
but it's just like, bro, like, first of all, I know 80% of these niggas ain't got no class, ain't took yeah. no class. I know 80%, 75% of these people don't know fucking gun safety for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Other than, like, don't put your finger on the trigger. And 50% of these people don't even be doing that shit. Yeah. So it's just like, like, bro, like, you got a whole lot of people just, just moving around recklessly. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with a gun at the end of the day because you know you gotta protect yourself yeah. sometimes. You feel me? You gotta protect yourself. Exactly. Especially when you nowadays. Got you, bro. you cannot trust nobody, bro. No, no. no. Bro, you gotta protect yourself, bro. That's what people don't understand, bro. Because a lot of it's a lot of unknown envy and hate. Yeah. Out here, bro. Like, yeah. It's facts. It's facts. And see, I'm gonna tell you, um, I was doing a pod, or I was gonna do a pod with somebody, right? And um, like the situation happened, everything along those lines, and I wasn't able to do it. A, a lot, a lot of weird shit was going on. Yeah. Where it's like, yo, you know, can you come to this location? Can you go to this location, etc., etc. Now to tell, bro, like, hey, look, man, like, first of all, keeping it, keeping it, keeping it cordial. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even really know you, my bro. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. you know what I'm saying? And you expect me to take like all my shit over to a location that I'm not like I don't got secure, I don't got safe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, bro, like only know of your background, and as a, as of your background, bro, you don't know me. I know the niggas who know you don't know me, so I don't yeah. know what type of shit is going on. You know what right. I'm saying? And you just gotta move smart like that sometimes. Yeah. You feel me? Which is like, okay, cool, like be able to have some type of awareness and discernment. Mm-hmm. Just being like, you know what, this scene a little bit shaky, this scene a little movie. Yeah. I ain't gonna do so it. So you had a feeling like a good feeling, right? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta listen to your good feeling though. You I always gotta listen to that, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened. That's why I was my good feeling like, bro, I'm about to go ahead and leave, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't lie. Yeah, exactly. Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Some people will say, you know, that's pussy, etc. Et like, nah, nah bro. Nah, that's nah, you bro. being smart. Exa- exactly. You being that's smart. You being smart, bro. Yeah. Stay fucking smart, stay alive. Yeah, for real. <laughs> At the end of the day, ain't nothing pussy about breathing, bro. Yeah. At the end of the day, we all surviving, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We all got to survive. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? exactly. So, it takes for me to survive, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like I said, we ain't harming nobody. We keep everything cordial. Yeah. But when you get in situations like, where it's like your mind telling you don't go there, yeah. don't be there, yeah. you shouldn't be there. Yeah. You gotta listen, bro. Literally. Don't be hard headed. Makes a soft ass. You feel me? Your mind told you that. So. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, so. <laughs> That's that old saying, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you wrong for telling me that. I'm like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Speaking of keeping the cordial, um, I think that kind of follows like keeping it pee. How do you feel about kind of keeping it pee? Yeah. Man, keeping the beat pee means a lot. Mm. You keep it pee. I, I I feel like I keep it pee. You keep it pee though. <laughs> but do you keep pee or you pushing pee? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's hard to think about. That's hard to think about. You know what? I say, I don't know if I'm pushing pee. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I say I definitely keeping the pee. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, I'm pushing cordiality. Oh my god. <laughs> they put an alley at the end of it. <laughs> Oh, word. he not really express the word. Like, it's tough. Yeah. I mean, I be like, at first, I was keeping the pee. Mm-hmm. Learning how to push pee, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's like... Speak on pushing pee. You speak on pee? Yeah. Hey, you got to push pee, bro. <laughs> Wise man once told me, uh-huh. gun to be exact. Okay. You feel me? Like, <laughs> yeah, gun told me you got to keep the pee, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It just... I don't know, man. I don't know. You fuck with Gunner though? Do I fuck with Gunner? Yeah. Do you fuck with Gunner? Yeah, he I hard. Do. He hard. <laughs> yeah. Bro, you seen the video that he dropped? What? He looked different than when he was on the yacht. Oh, yeah. He, bro, he leaned out, man. He what leaned out for though? real. Bro, went to jail. <laughs> bro, nah, bro. You don't <laughs> went to jail. That nigga went to prison. See, now I got me thinking about some Gucci man type shit. Clone my man's out. It's yeah. Like, I mean, bro, like, I ain't gonna catch with you though. He rocking out his stadiums. Yeah, yeah. He go you know crazy. what I'm saying? He yeah. going crazy. Gunner bro. hard. Exactly. And honestly, like, when it comes to the whole snitching allegations and everything yeah. along those lines, like, bro, like, you know, I'm a civilian. Yeah. Be for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a, I'm not affiliated with nobody, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So while I do understand, I do know I have uh, had experience with everything along those lines, et cetera, et cetera. Bro, that shit don't mean shit to me. You are. Right. At the end of the day, the nigga make good music or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... I mean, when it comes to his cases and stuff like that, when it comes to uh, YSL, I love Young Thug. Let me just put that out there. I fuck with Thug. Yeah. But um, it's just like, yo, like, they got to dish that out. You yeah. You know I mean? They ain't got nothing to do with me. Right. I'm just a consumer listening to some music. Right. You feel me? At the end of the so day. So you, you um, follow Say Cheese on Instagram? I don't follow him, but I see they shit on, like, my timeline on Twitter. But they really be gassing, bro. Really? Like, yeah, but they really be gassing it, bro. Like, bro... For one, let's get back to the gunner, bro. I don't uh, feel like gunner snitch, bro. 
Really? I, I don't feel like he's a snitch, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Why do you say that? Because, like, he really keeping it P. Like, you feel me? He mm. just, it won't really him. Mm. It won't really him. They won't really looking at Gunner. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? They were looking at Gunner and Young Thug, though. Yeah. But they been looking at Young Thug. You feel me? They it's been facts. looking at Young Thug. It's big facts. It's like, I ain't gonna catch you, Thug been. Yeah. Been on some... Yeah, he been on that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he been yeah. slime. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, Ever since that so nigga like, popped out. <laughs> yeah. So, like, they won't be looking at this. Had to throw him in there. You feel me? Yeah. And he had, he must, he probably had a good ass lawyer. You feel me? He paying for that. Oh, yeah, for you know sure. What I'm oh, yeah, for sure. Got him out of that. He, he going through it right now. I think he on probation for real. For real? I think he on probation type job. Damn. I think he can't be around your throat no more either. Really? A lot of threats been going out there on social media. I mean, you know I understand saying? that though. You know what I'm saying? He probably got bodyguards, you know, put in protective services, you know, protective custody yeah. and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, throw probably mad as hell in that oh, yeah. cell. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, for <laughs> sure. You know, like, people can say what they want. You know, it's cool, whatever, whatever. But, like, I don't know, in my head, I feel like that nigga really don't fuck with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At yeah, the end yeah. of the day. He don't fuck with Gunner like that, bro. Nah. I, think, I feel like he hating on Gunner right now, bro. I, I know like he hating on Gunner. Really? Man, I ain't gonna lie, Gunner hard. You know he puts that, uh, he pulled out that, pulled out that album, like, right after Gunner pulled out his album. Mm-hmm. To try to, like, you know, yeah. see, get better sales and shit like that. It ain't even work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't get me wrong, I love Thug, bro. Don't y'all try to fucking twist this <laughs> shit. I love that nigga. <laughs> yeah, Thug hard, though. I ain't gonna lie, though. Exactly. Thug is an OG, bro. But, like... He's a weird guy, though. Huh? He's a weird guy. Oh, yeah. With dresses yeah. and shit. Yeah. Dressing just like a parcelin doll and shit. Yeah, yeah. That shit different, bro. bro. On his, uh, one of his albums, one of his hardest albums, honestly, really. He had on a white dress, right? Yeah, he had a He was like, blue oh, dress. Rating. He was like Raiden type shit. Yeah. He was like a Raiden theme type shit. So yeah, right. had on the, uh, the big uh, hat yeah. and everything. Type shit. Shit yeah. was crazy. But like, bro, it being himself. Yeah. At the end of the day, the fuck you gonna do? Diss him? Right. <laughs> Come on. He's making money on it, right? Come on. <laughs> album pitch probably selling like what a meal. Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, true. Exactly. You fucking tripping, man. But that yeah. shows how much money's in rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of money in rap though. Hell but yeah. the industry also messed up. You show it? The industry might also messed up. Like the industry is like bad off right now, bro. Mm. Like everybody getting the industry. Keep it hot with it, just die, bro. Yeah. They just die, bro. It's facts. It's facts. Now, do you think people are dying because they in, like, gang affiliation, gang life, et cetera, et cetera, or do you think they dying because they're being targeted? It's either or for real. Mm. It's either or. Like, but the most, is, I feel like they're just being targeted. Mm. But, like, just like with like, Young Thug, I mean, not Young Thug, but uh, Tupac, you feel me? For sure, yeah. Tupac was doing good, bro. He went out here pushing violence, you know what I'm saying? That's facts. He was making noise, like, he was, like, shooting positive, positive stuff and, like, people yeah. really start, like, really hating it. Yeah. He started going big, like, yeah. independent at first. Yeah. And so he went with Def Jam and all that, and Suge Knight and all that stuff started going down. Like, yeah. I watched the documentary, like, four times to really understand it. You know what I'm saying? For real? Yeah. Damn. You, you got to watch. You watched it before? Nah, I've never watched it. Well, I don't think I watched the documentary. I might have to see the link, but uh, yeah, I'm going to see the link, though. You're going to be like, damn, like, this shit really fucked up, man. Mm. Like, they do you like that, though. That's why I would never, like, that's us being artists. Yeah. Kyle would never say I'm a rapper. Yeah, okay. A For rapper, so, you can say the difference between rapper and artist? Yes. A yes, rapper is somebody is. that made music. No, art is somebody that created. You know Thanks. what I'm saying? We love so the like, fucking CC. Yes, like, yeah. yes, right. yes, yes, we got to create. We creators. Like, we don't create the music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We make our own sound and all that. See, rappers, it's just, you feel me? Do you write? I do. I do. So I've been writing since I was like 12, 13, man. And at first, uh, it, yeah, at first it was like something was more like poetry. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because I mean, that's really all songs are, just poetry. Yeah. But like, um, it's just like a way for, for me to get out, you know, my head and shit yeah. like that and get my emotions out. Mm-hmm. And then eventually I just started writing songs and my boy, um, I was real locked in with him and shit. He started like making beats and shit. Mm-hmm. And I just kept on watching him and shit like that. And he was like, bro, like, it seemed like you really fuck with this. He yeah. gave me his uh, his password, his key and shit. He was like, hey, yo, like for Christmas, on some like, for real, like I fuck with you type shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He was like, yo, like download this on your laptop, like do your thing for real. Yeah. And ever since then, bro, like, I've been locked in with this music shit, bro, like, yeah. engineering, love producing, you, everything. But to be honest with you, rapping, like, I, I didn't even, like, I want to take it serious so much, so bad, bro. I want to, though. Why not? Because, like, with rapping, I want to do it with somebody, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I want to have, I want to start, like, a team, you know what I'm saying? Got gotcha. you. With rap, you know what I'm saying? I can gotcha. do it all myself. Yeah. It's going to be much harder. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah, like, yeah. Instead of having, like, people with you to do it, and, like, somebody, like, next to you, like, Push me to do it, you know. So they doing it, but they pushing me to do it. You feel me? So, yeah, yeah. I like somebody. I like somebody to push me because it's gonna bring the greatness out of me. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You can do it by yourself, but you really not gonna know like who you are with the rapping. You're not exactly. gonna know like how you really sound unless somebody like, oh, bro, you hard, bro. Exactly. Like, come on, bro, drop something. Like, 
get in that mode, we in the studio in that mode, you feel yeah. like just chilling, vibing out, like. And that's the thing though, bro, like whenever you have a team, that's when you actually really be able to go somewhere. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like you said, like you can do it, you can try to do it individually. That's cool. Yeah. That goes as a life lesson to anybody who's listening, regardless if you're working in rap or music or whatnot. Yeah. You know, you can have you can try to do things individually, bro, and you're gonna maybe get a little bit. But yeah. if you have somebody like a whole bunch of people behind you pushing you, etc. Mm-hmm. working towards you, maybe not even just like trying to just push you, mm-hmm. but y'all all working toward the same collective, but y'all gonna get so much further, so much faster. Yeah. You feel me? Because you got so much energy behind this one motive. You feel me? That's how you know that we we like supposed to be working together. Yeah. Like for sure. that. Like we supposed all everybody's supposed to work together for real. Yep. But everybody wanna be in, like so individual things, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. And that's not the wave, man. That's yeah. not where we're going, bro. So at the end of the day, man, like, y'all find somebody, y'all lock in, y'all really, like, get behind a certain, a singular goal, man, and get to where the fuck you want to get to, bro. Right. Get your fucking dream, man. Make that shit happen. Get your money. I don't give a fuck if you don't care about whatever. Get to where you want to go. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can do any, anything is possible. Anything bro. is fucking possible, bro. Anything is possible, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, that's that's a message out to all y'all, bro, for real, for real. All right, man. Well, look, I I appreciate you coming on. No cap. You want to drop your handles and shit like that? Anything? Y'all follow me on IG at Tuka Shiesty. Mm-hmm. Uh, and in the bio, you're going to see my uh, my clothing brand, Corrupted Hearts. Okay. Y'all follow my YouTube at Tukaville TV. Okay. You know, a lot of content dropping soon, you know. Okay. There we and go. Yeah. There we go. There there y'all going to see me. Y'all going to see bro. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Work. No cap. Man, it's, a lot, it's, a lot, it's a lot going on. Hell yeah, Sorry, man. man. Uh, so look, all those, all that information is going to be in that bio, in that description below, man. So y'all go ahead and check it out if it's not at the bottom of your fucking screen right now. And uh, yeah, you know who it is. Makaro, we love it. Chatted another episode. I'll see y'all again next week. Let's get it.